Darwin's Theory of Natural Selection On the basis of the observations, Darwin suggested that only the fittest survive. All those plants and animals which are not fit die. These fit species reproduce and pass on the relevant characteristics to the following generation which in turn would make them fit for survival. The process of selection of characteristics that contribute to the fitness for survival was called natural selection by Darwin. Why is there a competition between individuals of the same type? There are many differences found even in the individuals of the same species. Some individuals have certain factors to a greater extent than others. If these factors are necessary for survival, then these individuals can survive the struggle for existence. Other individuals who do not possess these factors, die. These useful factors appear only in some individuals in the next generation of the species. Here also, in the struggle among the individuals for survival, only those possessing the factors at greater levels survive. This process continues from generation after generations. The total effect is that after several generations, the number of individuals having the relevant factors that are better adapted to their surroundings is much more than in previous generations. These adapted individuals may also be very different from the original species. This process is described as a natural selection of these individuals which have characteristics best adapted for survival. Selection by nature is not deliberate but is natural. The criterion for the natural selection is only one, that is, successful adaptation for growth and reproduction in the given environment. The natural selection of the individuals best adapted to their environment will be made clear from the following example. A certain variety of moths which often fall prey to birds is found in the surroundings of Birmingham in England. These moths are found in two colors, black, that is melanized, and gray. Both these varieties live on the trunks. Years ago, trees in this particular area were hosts to the growth of algae and fungi and thus were gray in color. Hence, the grey moths were easily camouflaged on the tree trunks and were protected from their predators. The black moths were easily noticed by the predatory birds and were consequently eaten by them in greater numbers. So, the population of grey moths was much higher than the black ones. Later, as a result of industrial revolution, there was an increase in the level of pollution. Owing to this, there was hardly any growth of algae or fungi on the tree trunks. Instead, the tree trunks got covered by soot, which gave them a black color. Now, it was the black moths that began to get protection and the grey ones were easily detected by their predators and consumed by them. Nowadays, in the surroundings of Birmingham, 
Black moths are found in large numbers. The theory of natural selection, which was proposed by Charles Darwin, helped to explain process of the development of living things. However, the theory did not explain how an individual plant or animal acquired factors that made it better adapted to its surroundings. In the course of time, these questions were answered by the discovery of the laws governing heredity and mutation and thus Darwin's theory came to be universally accepted.